dun, dun, dun. Uncle L here. And uh, here's my baby. She got 250 something. So anyway, we got the shakes. So let's see if we can So there and there. This claim disclaimer, blah blah blah. I have not fixed this, but let me show you some tricks. So kick her into neutral when you're at the stoplight, brakes depressed. When you need to go, put her on. Let me see, show you what else I found out. Like I said, I didn't fix the problem. I just learned to live with it. So, we'll start out with this. Someone commented on one of my videos that the air cleaner put it back in and make sure there's no holes or whatever. The reason why I changed the air cleaner was it had a crack and I found this one at the junkyard and I was like, all right. So it could be the wrong air flow mixture, but there could be a crack in the thing. Change your motor mounts, uh, doesn't help, but make sure you get the lifetime warranty on them. That way I changed that one once, I think already since I installed the new one twice. Yeah, I've installed, changed that one twice. This one's down here is pretty easy also. I probably need to change that one but it beats up the motor mounts. I notice when the lights turn on, so the alternator bearing could be causing extra tension. That being said, the AC compressor bearing, the water pump bearing, and there's a steering pump bearing over there, which I hope it's not it. But when you move those around, turn on the lights, it causes a little bit of extra shake so maybe more power draw I don't know maybe something's up with that so that could be a possibility your vacuum lines always a possibility but there's a ton of them almost set a swear word and uh, I did put some uh, oh what do you call it I can't see foam in here, but I didn't do the right thing. I didn't leave it set. Uh, that had a little bit of an effect. Throttle body, I did the light cleaning. You get the throttle body cleaner, you get you a stick. You spray it on the rag and then you take this off and then you clean that. Uh, pretty decent results. And I thought, pat myself on the back, thought that was it something else kicked so next I went to my local junkyard and I borrowed uh, one of these same deal fixed it for like 10 15 20 minutes no bueno went through and tried to check all the vacuum hoses uh, didn't find anything there next thing is I happen to take that off but if you're gonna take that off you're you have to move all this right here. And that is a pain in the ass. But that was filled with carbon buildup. And uh, that part alone is like 100 and something, 150. So I don't know if that would fix it anyway. Uh, there's a water hose back there. They say if you're going to go through all that effort, make sure you change that. Uh, spark plugs spark plug wires did all that nothing uh, there's a coffee can down here for emissions that could be it like I say though it's just the myriad of problems you go through all the basics and I still haven't found the solution and uh, I just shift her into neutral I've been doing that for about I think 
20,000 miles, maybe 10. Just trying to get her prolonged longevity out of her, but other than that, she runs great. Summertime, she sort of eases down. You know, you'll have some good days, but sometimes she'll just shake like crazy. I don't know. So, whatever it is, good luck on your search. I haven't found it. Like I said, thanks to the guy who uh, commented on that. The aftermarket one, or you could have some holes or something, and you got extra gunk in there. Uh, Uncle L out. <laughs>